everyone, it's Frankie Lou. I'm coming to you today from the kitchen at the Grow Together Homestead where I'm gonna make some spruce tip, well prepare some spruce tip syrup today. Now spruce tip season is one of my favorite times of the year. It's just wonderful delicious stuff and there's other videos about harvesting um, if you're interested. But this is a way to help it preserve. I'm gonna, this is super easy, super fast. Uh, bear with me and I'll show you how we do this. What you want to do is you want to get some nice freshly harvested spruce tips. So you could put these in the fridge for a while. They keep really well in the fridge, but you do want to use them fairly soon after you harvest. These have been washed and drained in a colander in the sink and they're all ready to go. Now, when you're making your spruce tip syrup, this is kind of an old world method here. Um, you want to use one half the weight of the spruce tips that you would use with brown sugar. I really like brown sugar for this. I find that it causes the mastication to work better. Uh, I also really like the flavor of the brown sugar for that rich syrupy flavor that I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm going to use, I have here a kilogram of nice brown sugar. So I've got half the weight in spruce tips. This is 500 grams that I me measured earlier on my kitchen scale here. So you basically want to double the weight of your spruce tips and sugar. That's not hard, right? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix it in. That's also not hard. I'm gonna quickly do that here. So it doesn't look like much at this point, but I'll show you some that I set up two weeks ago and you'll see how quickly it starts to turn into actually a syrupy-like project product. Okay, so I've mixed that all up nice there. And what I have here are two sterilized two liter jars, okay? I'm gonna use my funnel now to pour half in each. Because I want a lot of room at the start. This is gonna reduce down significantly, but at the start here, I wanna have a lot of room. Find the canning funnel really helpful for this process. So that can be a bit clumsy. Wanna evenly displace it between the two. Trying to make sure that the sugar is evenly distributed as well. Okay, so as you can see, a kilogram of brown sugar and 500 grams of spruce tips fills up two of these jars pretty well. Now, for the first few days of this process, what I like to do is make sure I'm really, I'm gonna jam this down tight. Okay, the reason why, and I'm gonna stir it quite frequently, I'm gonna stir it every day for the next few days. Because what I want to happen is I want the, the um, flavoring in the liquids that are in the spruce tips, because these are nice tender young spruce tips, to release their fluids, okay? They're masticating basically in here. Now the other thing that I'm gonna do, because it is hot out, I'm gonna take advantage of that. You don't have to do this, but I do find it really does speed up the process. I'm gonna very loosely put on a lid here. The reason you wanna do that is it is gonna release some gas and you don't want it to explode, right? So don't tighten this. Um, and I'm gonna go place it outside in the sun um, because I do want to speed up this mastication process. So as you can see, I've got that jabbed in there. I'm gonna stir that around. After about a week, I'm gonna go put this in a cool, dark cupboard, and I'm gonna let it rest for one month to three months, okay? If you want, you can leave it even longer, but uh, we find that three months is ideal, but you really can taste the forest um, in this syrup within a month's time. So I just wanna show you here, these are ones that were set up exactly two weeks ago today. And look at that, look at how much the, um, spruce tips have released some fluid. So what I'm also going to do today is I'm going to put these two together because they don't, and these are gonna go down into that dark cupboard I talked about. Okay, so while I'm moving this in here, boy, this, look at how much fluid there is already, right? So you can see this really does release a lot. And my goodness, it smells like a sweet forest. <laughs> I don't know, you really have to try it yourself. It's a very, very um, 
unique flavor. I love it. Okay, because I it just it's just so nice. It's also extremely sweet. This product is very, very sweet. Okay. More so than say sugar, <laughs> because the sugar, what you're gonna do at the end of this time that you're letting this sit, and I'm probably gonna let it sit for another month or so. Well, I'll probably let this sit for another three months. I wanna get every little bit out. I'll, I'll stir it every once in a while, but honestly, if I forgot to do so, that would be fine. There's so much sugar in this that it's a pretty good, pretty stable preserve. Okay. And squish it down so the all the spruce tips are covered by the fluid. Oh my goodness, it's so yummy. It's a very unique flavor. If you tried some of the other spruce tip products and you like it, you probably will really like this as well. Now what I'm gonna do at the end of the sitting period, I am going to take this and put it all in a pot and let it boil, okay? Bring it to a nice rolling boil to get um, as much of the fluids out of there. And then I'm gonna strain out, pressing out the, um, through a fine mesh, all, all the syrup from the spruce tips. They can be tossed out at that point, but you're gonna be left with quite a nice little batch of spruce tip syrup. I, um, you can keep it in the fridge, or you can also can it in a hot water bath. In my altitude, I wanna do that at 20, for 20 minutes in half pint jars. That I find is the best uh, time for a strong seal in my high altitude. And uh, yeah, it's really delicious, it's really unique. It's very shelf stable because it is mostly sugar and especially if you use the sterilized jars and you also water bath it. So yeah, I hope you'll give it a try. It's quite delicious, it's different, and it's a way, another way you can use some of the conifers that you may have growing on your property. Um, if you're not sure how to harvest, there is another video on that. And uh, yeah, I hope you'll give it a go. I'm really looking forward to this at Christmas time. That's gonna be delicious on waffles and stuff. So as always, Please feel free to ask as many questions as you like. I love hearing from you all. And um, I hope you'll take this chance to grow together today. Have a good one.